Casey? I can't see. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kelsey Bree here. If you're new here, hi and welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. In today's video, I have some special announcements, so let's get started. So I'm not in my room, I am in our backyard. We have like a really big trampoline, so I thought that'd be a really fun location for this video. So yes, I have hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I'm so excited. I'm really happy. Um, I know it's not technically a lot, but to me, when you're first starting out, it really is a lot. And yeah, I'm growing a community and a fan base. I have a lot of things planned in the future and stuff, so this is really exciting. And the baby's here, we got Kennedy over there. <laughs> So yeah. So the reason why I started YouTube was because I was just interested in making videos and I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda in it for the money. I realized that you can just have one video and make like 25,000, 50,000, up to like a million, just like a lot of money. So I'm not gonna lie, my first few YouTube videos was just for it for the money. I started it for the money. Cause I wanted to get that income coming in and stuff like that. But after I did like four YouTube videos, I started editing and posting and making my thumbnails and then engaging with you guys, the viewers, I realized that this is something I really like to do. I'm having a lot of fun. Even there's nights where I literally stay up to like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Like editing the video for you guys to watch it for like the next day. I actually enjoy that even though it's torturous, but I still love it. It's putting my hard work and effort into something that I really love doing and having you guys watch it and stuff like that, so. I wanna talk about what I've learned so far being a YouTuber, even though I'm so small, I have learned a few things and that is, number one is like the equipment. I realized that I do have a camera for YouTube and I have it for vlogging and all that, but I realized that you really can just start using your iPhone or just any type of recording device. It really doesn't matter because as long as you're videotaping yourself and you have some type of editing software, you're like legitimately good. You don't need this expensive equipment at all. And I wish I realized that a long time ago instead of waiting years and months later just to get the camera to start making my videos. So if you are a new YouTuber and you're considering doing it, just start it. It doesn't even matter what equipment you are using. So another few no. things that I've learned is that um, there's this thing called the average view duration. And it kind of sucks when you do put a lot of effort into your YouTube videos and you think this video is going to be, it's going to make it, it's going to go far, people are going to click on it, people are going to watch it. I want to find out you only have about maybe 12 views. The average view duration is only a few seconds long or a minute out of the whole 11 minutes of your YouTube video. And it's kind of like, dang, I thought this was it stuff like that so I learned to put all of your interesting and fun and your fun moments in the beginning instead of like towards the end where all the good stuff is at because when you do this this is how you're going to draw the viewer like the attention like the what's it called oh hmm. that's not good what are you gonna do we'll just put it back on her then that's what I'm trying to do but I need your whole hand okay okay um so yeah, there was a point where I wanted to stop because I was like, this is just not happening fast enough. But remember guys, anything that comes fast, leaves fast, ends fast, goes fast. It doesn't matter what it is. If it comes fast, it's gonna leave fast. Same thing as you buying cheap clothing. If you buy it, it's gonna break easily. The zipper's gonna fall off, there's gonna be a hole. You shouldn't be surprised if it costs just $5. So yeah, no offense. But um, yeah. <laughs> Um, in my future YouTube career, honestly, I plan to be doing this forever. I'm probably going to be that 50 year old still being like, hey, mm hmm, slay, go girls, mm hmm, period, all that type of stuff. I don't even care. I'm going to be making videos for the rest of my life because this is something I really want to do. I want to have a YouTube career just like Emma Chamberlain because I believe I can do it too. So, yeah, and once my mind is set on something, I'm going to go for it. This is like how I'm doing my YouTube channel. I believe I can do it, and here I am doing it. You also need the confidence and just like the willingness to like do, just to make videos. And when I say the willingness, I mean you can't be lazy and procrastinate. You need to have a set schedule, know what days you're gonna start videoing and you need to actually put the effort into making the video. You can't just say, oh, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. But you have no YouTube video ideas. You don't have a YouTube video up or anything prepared. There's no way that's gonna happen. That's just, you're just dreaming. It's not even a plan, it's a dream. So yeah. I sound mean. <laughs> also, you should talk about the channel. Uh, you have to have a good channel and profile because that's the yeah. person who's going to share the um, mm -hmm. question. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Also, yes, you need to have a good YouTube channel art. The YouTube profile picture needs to be nice, welcoming, really pretty, and aesthetic. And um, 
honestly your feet does need to be nice but I know I don't have an aesthetic yet on my channel because I haven't really figured out what colors I specifically want just because I still want that nice colorfulness I also kind of not I don't really care about the aesthetic really I just want to put out what I like but no I'm gonna try to find a sec for my YouTube channel I think it's gonna look nice but yeah the first thing people see is your thumbnail in the picture that's your first impression so if you have a really nice and aesthetically pleasing just profile and channel that people are going to go over to your channel because they're going to remember yours for being so pretty and nice and everything and exactly and unique so yeah Be figure yourself. that out okay what else is there this video will be edited by my sister yeah like all the other videos oh yeah there's some videos that she does i think she's done about she's edited about five a good five. about like a good five of my 34 youtube videos she actually does a great job you can't you can't really even tell the difference on who's editing because i think we both have the same skill but actually i think kennedy is a tad bit better when it comes to the speaking videos if it's just showing things then i think i do better yes. but when i edit my talking videos the whole video is just me talking and talking and talking there's no breath there's no stop and when she does it there is some breaks and stops so yeah, yeah and also you're better at thumbnails so oh yeah i am way better, better at thumbnails, thumbnails. i'm like editing you're like thumbnails yeah i'm so good at the presentation of the thumbnails and she's better at like the talking and the editing so she's most likely going to be editing this video so yeah yeah when you're starting a youtube channel be you don't put on a persona don't try to be someone else or act like someone else because you think it's going to drive more attention and traction to your channel people want to see you and all that just be authentic like don't try to copy like there's only one you in this world why would you want to be someone else why be like the second rate of someone else that's just kind of yeah no be the first rate you be the first version of you why would you want to be someone else Yes, people in high school are going to see this, people like your teachers and all that, but I don't even know because honestly, it did make me nervous. Like when I changed my Instagram profile picture, I actually did get nervous. I was like, people were like, why are you changing your, your profile picture? Why are you changing your name? Why, why, why is there a new username? And I actually did get self-conscious, but then I was like, I got used to it. I said, well, this is me. This is my career. I can't just stay where I'm at and expect to go somewhere far if I'm just not gonna try and go anywhere. So, yeah, you gotta just get out of the comfort zone. Who cares what people think? If Beyonce cares, she would not be where she is. There are people who told her she, who, that she couldn't even sing. The people told Beyonce that she couldn't sing, but guess what, she didn't care. She knew she could sing and guess where she's at? Multi-billionaire. Exactly, <laughs> at the top, making money, making bank, and inspiring other black women in the black community to do what they can do to you know just do what's right and educate them so you can't go anywhere being in the same space place I meant so yeah so I have nothing else to say since we're on a trampoline right now I'm gonna jump a little bit so thank you for watching this YouTube video all my recent uploads and social media by me will be done in the description box I will see you next time and don't forget to subscribe peace